Here we have the Trend Combi 66 jig. It's a smaller brother to the uh, big 1002, uh, not as many features, um, and in some ways not quite so intuitive. Uh, it's not color coded. However, small, compact, brilliant quality, and it is easy to use. So we have a set of instructions. I know some of us tradesmen aren't too uh, familiar with reading them. Throw them in the bin, but do read them. It makes life a lot easier. Very, very simple to set up. It's quite simply, we put the pegs in the front, and that set it up 90 degrees on the front, and we have a stop at the back. And the advantage of these combi jigs, and these, these black jigs, is this jig here, most on most uh, kitchen worktop jigs, it has markings for 600, 610, 616, 620, 650, etc. But if it falls outside those margins, then you've got a little bit of tolerance for it to move. Whereas this jig here, it's absolutely spot on. So if you've scribed the worktop into a wall and it's slightly less than, than, than the normal parameters, it's absolutely spot on. So as you can see, very, very quick to set up. Then, as I've read the instru instructions, very intuitive. Just put it in there, like so, hook it on. And what we'll do is we'll clamp it on and we'll show you doing the female cut. On the Combi Jig 66, what you'll notice is there's actually only two bolt holes to machine. Now some of you guys are going to be happy with two, and some of you guys are going to be happy with three, because that's what you're used to. Either way you can use this jig. Recommendations in the instructions are that from the front of the joint, we mark a line, and we can set it back 150 millimeters. Mark a pencil line. And we take the location pins, clip them in, and quite simply line it up and get two evenly spaced bolt holes. If on the other hand you prefer three, no problem. All we can do is just measure from the joint closer, measure to the back and put a mark, mark it in the middle, and it's slightly more work because you have to cut each bolt hole singly. So we can cut the first one, easy. We can line it up to the second hole, easy. And then we can line it up to the third hole and cut that one. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to cut your bolt holes, but you have the advantage of a much smaller, much more compact, much more lightweight jig. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to the 150 as per the instructions clamp it down and show you how we cut the bolt holes. <laughs> 